Hello everyone and welcome back to Marty Motoring. My Camaro has been really fun over the last few months. But it has reflector style housings for the headlights and I really want to upgrade them and make them modern and custom. So that's what we're going to do. I am sponsored by Diode Dynamics. That's why I am using their products. But we're also going to be retrofitting the headlights to go from a reflector style housing to a projector style housing. My friend is also going to hook us up with custom etched lens. And the whole thing is just going to be really cool, I think, once it's all put together and working. I haven't modified too many headlights before, so that's why I'm really relying on my friend to help me out. But let's dive into it and start this journey. If this is your first time on the channel, consider hitting subscribe to follow along and give this video a thumbs up, helps me out. All right, now that we got the bumper off, we have the headlights off, now we can go deliver them. So we're here and we're dropping off the headlights. Here at my friend's house, we got everything we need and the headlights themselves. And uh, yeah, these are gonna look totally different when they're done. So here's some of the other lights that Brock has done. Kind of gives you some idea of what I'd be able to do with mine. There's a lot of different things you can do, like the etched glass and like the different projector shrouds, um, different LEDs. Here's a finished set of 370Z headlights. You can see this like gold and you get the blue flake in there. You can kind of see it on camera. It's just really intricate and really nice designs. So I'll be able to do that to my really basic and boring Camaro headlights. So the Bluetooth controller will work for this, but the lights they gave me actually won't work with uh, my lighting setup. I don't have the LED strips, like the factory projectors on like a ZL1. I don't have that. So these are just reflectors. So we're gonna have to figure something else out. One week later. We're gonna be using the Pro Series from Diode Dynamics, Multicolor Demon Eye. They are RGBW, made in USA, and uh, they can do all kinds of colors with the Bluetooth controller. That I'll be demonstrating soon, but this is the product. So here we started taking the headlights apart. The lens is off and you can see the reflector housing like I was talking about. You have the turn signal, reflector housing, and this, I think it used an H11 or H13, but we're gonna be putting in H1 projectors. We have these demon eyes from Diode Dynamics. Since the other LED option wasn't gonna work with the style headlights we have, we're gonna be doing these demon eyes. These screw on to the projector and they have their own controller and everything, so we'll be able to control that via Bluetooth. It's kind of hard to envision what that's gonna look like, but once it's all together, I can show you. Uh, but I just wanted to show the starting process of these headlights being torn apart, and they're gonna look totally different when we're done.
right, so we're out here with the final product. The custom headlights are on. I have them on blue right now with the demonized. You can see my logo in the projector. So that's pretty awesome. The best part is with the Diode Dynamics app, you can literally change the color to anything you want. So. So that is the final product here. We have it on the strobe mode and yeah, it just looks awesome. So it's been probably another week since I got those on and filmed that and I even got a haircut. So, so the lights look great. The H1 low beams, I had to aim and just get them nice and level. Uh, they're nice and bright white. I think they're 4300 or 5000 Kelvin. Good cutoff, doesn't blind anybody. And when the lights are off, you can see the diode dynamic demon eyes and those show up with the different colors and the Bluetooth like I showed. So overall, it's a really good setup. It looks really cool off, looks cool on. The light at night is much better than what I had. So huge thanks to my friend Brock who built these headlights and um, kind of guided me through the whole process and showed me everything he does. I think with the new grill on and the new headlights, the front end just looks so much better. It's like totally transformed. But I have the Camaro back in my garage after paint correction and it looks amazing. My friend Andrew did an awesome job, so can't wait to show you. Also have some other stuff for the Camaro coming, so I'm gonna mention that in a second. So let's head into my garage, talk about paint correction, and uh, then we can get into the, some of the future mods on the Camaro. So this is my two bedroom townhouse that I got back in June. Uh, unfortunately, it only has a one car garage, but it's not too bad. My Camaro fits in here. A little bit about my garage. I got some lights off Amazon, which I will put the links in the description below if you'd like to check those out. These are really cheap and awesome for the price. I just screwed them into the drywall. They're really light and plastic LED, and they light up the whole garage pretty well. I painted the walls gray, got some cabinets from Sam's Club, and a workbench slash toolbox from Harbor Freight. Now I have a lot of stuff. It doesn't all fit perfectly in this garage, but uh, we're making it work. Had that shelf, and then just have some parts and things like that there for the 4Runner and the Camaro. So as you might have already seen, here is the Camaro, super shiny, and this lighting helps to show that. So obviously there's some scratches he couldn't get out that are just so deep, or it's just not worth losing all that clear coat. For the majority of the car, you don't really see that many scratches. It looks really good, really shiny. Cut to a few clips of that now. So there it is, that's the paint correction. I'm like scared to scratch it now. This was coated with a special wax, so it's a very slippery smooth water beads off of it. Uh, I haven't washed it yet, I've just kept it in here for the few days it's been paint corrected, and I'm just trying to keep it nice. Now I am thinking about wrapping the car. Now I'll be wrapping over like something nice, so it'll actually be protecting something. Um, but this will look great even if I do end up just keeping it black, but I am thinking about wrapping the car. So drop in the comments below, what color would you like to see this car? What design? What theme? I'm open to suggestions. I have a few ideas of my own, but I think it would be really cool to wrap this thing. Here we are in the back, the lights, just everything looks so shiny and so deep black and glossy now. Especially the wheels. They're, they're just as smooth as the factory paint. I also do want to paint the caliper soon. So we're gonna be doing that. It's winter now, so this is the perfect time to do some of these mods. But overall, I am just really enjoying this Camaro. And there are, like I said, there are a few just deep scratches that he could not get out. That's like almost all the way down. I don't know where it came from. But I think the car is just looking 
better and better every day. Speaking of mods, I have some others planned for this besides wrapping it. We did a few mods up here like the Heritage Grill and these custom Marty Motoring projectors with Demon Eyes from Diode Dynamics. Well, Diode Dynamics is a lighting sponsor for me and they sent me some new stuff. Before I show you what Diode Dynamics sent me for this car, which I'm super excited about, we also have a intake coming from a certain company. Uh, right now we have a K&N system, but there's something better that's out there. And we're gonna do a video with it, installation video, and then hopefully get headers also, get a tune, just get this thing powerful and where it needs to be and even more fun than it already is. I also ordered a eBay front lip just to test it out because it was cheap. I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a lip that's going to get beat up. Also, we're going to have something coming from Street Fighter LA that goes in this general area and may or may not replace that. I think that kind of covers the mods I've done so far. I, I did black these out and you know I got the newer Chevy Camaro wheels. It's lowered on BMR lowering springs, 1.25 inch. It's now pink corrected. We got my social handle and my friend Hammerdown Motorsports who's helped me with a lot of the mods and kind of convinced me to get a Camaro. And yeah, it's, it's really coming along. So let's show you the new diode dynamics lights. This box came in the other day. First things first, we have some fog lights from diode dynamics. I believe these are just white LED fog lights. So that'll be a lot better than the uh, and the halogen fog lights that come with the car. All right, and the next thing is an LED strip kit. Now there is a version where you can get the Bluetooth controller that's controlling my demon eyes and stuff in the Forerunner as well, and you can change the colors, but I got one that's just a solid color because I didn't really need to change it, didn't want to run another Bluetooth adapter. So we got the LED strip kit in red. This can go anywhere. I'm gonna put it under the dash so that we have some interior lighting in the Camaro. Should look really cool. Red footwell area interior lighting and it shouldn't be too distracting. And next, this is what I'm most excited about. You can't really see what it is, but this is an underglow kit. Yes, we're doing underglow LED lighting on the Camaro. It's gonna be controllable just like my demon eyes with my phone via the Bluetooth controller that's on the car right now. So I'll be able to change colors and uh, just really make the car light up at night in the parking lot. So we'll have a full install on this soon. So I'll have the demon eyes and these lights and it'll just make it look really unique, especially with the footwells, you know, put them all to red. It'll look really menacing at night, so. As you may know, Diode Dynamics makes great lights. I've been running them on the 4Runner and Camaro for a while. I have their rear tail lights on the Camaro as well as the demon eyes. Now we'll be actually running some fog lights from them and some other lighting. Huge shout out to them for sending me this stuff. It's pretty awesome. For more updates, especially if you don't always get on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, at Marty Motoring. I'm always posting stories of companies I'm working with, updates, new mods, and I do polls where you can like vote on what you like better so that I know what content to actually put out. So I'm pretty excited for what 2021 holds for the Camaro. We got lip, wing, possibly a wrap, uh, some underglow, some footwell lighting, intake, headers, there's all kinds of stuff that's gonna happen to this Camaro, so be sure to hit the subscribe button, follow along, follow me on Instagram so that you can see the latest updates. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep those wheels turning.